Miami dishwasher awarded a big settlement after she sued the owners of the hotel where she works, arguing religious discrimination. The jury siding with her in the tune of more than $21 million. But will she get that much? NBC6 reporter Amanda Placencia is live right now at the Women's Church. And Amanda, you spoke to her. Yes, that's right, Joanne. I spoke to that woman, that dishwasher, Marie Pierre, and she says that she was a devoted employee of Hilton Hotels, but she says that it was her devotion to God praying here at the Bethel Baptist Church that she says got her fired, but now she's since fought that termination. Marie John Pierre was a dishwasher at the Conrad Miami for almost 10 years, but she suddenly found herself without a job. I love God. No, I can Sunday because uh, Sunday, I honor God. The devout Christian missionary who was born in Haiti says that she missed six Sundays from work for religious purposes. But then she says her boss at the hotel, which was then managed by Hilton, fired her. They accommodated her for seven years, and they easily could have accommodated her, but instead of doing that, they set her up for absenteeism and threw her out. Attorney Mark Brummer representing Pierre as she sued the hotel chain, a jury in federal court ruling in her favor Monday, granting her $36,000 in back pay, half a million dollars for pain and suffering, and $21 million in punitive damages, of which she can collect $300,000. She's a soldier of Christ. She was doing this for the, all the other people, all the other workers who are being discriminated against. But as she spoke through a translator, Pierre says she didn't do it for the money. Uh, it's not a lottery. The earth and the skies belong to God. Federal law requires an employer to make reasonable considerations for religious practices. Brummer says he hopes his verdict sets a standard. But this was not about money. This was about sending a message to other corporations, whether big or small, whatever size you are. If you're going to take the blood and sweat of your workers, you better accommodate them or let them at least believe in their religious beliefs. Not a preference, but a belief. Now we did reach out to the Hilton corporate team who says they intend to appeal this decision and in a statement they told us in part we were very disappointed by the jury's verdict and don't believe that it is supported by the facts of this case or the law. During Miss Pierre's 10 years with the hotel, multiple concessions were made to accommodate her personal and her religious commitments. And that's very latest live in Northeast Miami-Dade. Amanda Placencia, NBC6 News.